how to edit category page in WordPress with Elementor step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take category pages and edit them in Elementor. Now in WordPress, I have added a couple of blogs and with blogs, you can create categorizations. You can do that simply by clicking on posts on the top left and then click on categories. I'm going to build two different categories. One is going to be about uh, hair care. I'll add hair care over here and the slug is going to be hair care. Then I can simply click on add new category. And then I'm going to add the second one, which is going to be about makeup. And I'm going to use the same slug. And then I'll just click on add new category. Once I have created these two categories, I can go back into all posts. And once I go back into all posts, I can choose the category for each individual blog post. So I'm going to just add these. First, we have these two makeup ones and I'm going to add them to the makeup category. I'm going to click on edit and then I'm going to click on apply. And we're just going to add them to makeup. And then I'll take these two ones and then I'll click on edit, click on apply, and add them to hair care. Now that I have created these categories, I can get started with editing them. However, there is one primary issue when you try to edit categories, and that is going to be your Elementor editor. Because if you try to do this with Elementor, so I'll open up my Elementor editor you will see that blog posts are a premium only feature. So you will see on the left, we have our Elementor Builder. If I close the layout in basic, I have the pro version of Elementor. And in the pro version of Elementor, I can display my posts as well as my videos, table of contents, and the different blog posts that I have. So by a direct method, you can't edit your blog post pages with Elementor, but, there is a workaround to this and we're going to take a look at the different workarounds. Now, there's a really popular method that a lot of people say works, but actually it does not work, which is to go into templates and go into the template builder. Now, if you go into templates and go into your theme builder or template builder, Currently, Elementor has blocked all types of template creations with their free version, so you no longer can do that. That used to be an old fix that used to work, but currently that's not available. So what do you do now? Well, you still can edit your blog posts, you can edit those pages, and to do that, firstly, what you can do is you can create hyperlinks with regular posts, that's the first way. The second way you can do that is to use a Elementor add-on. Now, the thing with these Elementor add-ons is that sometimes they're available, sometimes they're not. So if you search for Elementor add-on like this, there are Elementor add-ons like Shop Lenter. Shop Lenter is really great for using uh, WooCommerce. So if you're selling products, then you're going to be able to unlock a lot of Elementor Pro features with Shop Lenter. But as you guys can see, there are a couple of different plugins available and sometimes they do have features that allow you to add blog posts. But of course, these are going to be limited and you're not going to find the same capability for all of these. So we're going to go ahead and go with Royal add-ons. You can click on allow and continue. And then after that, you will see a theme builder, which will help you in, you know, using different themes. You can also just click on Royal add-ons on the left and you can see it allows you to add dynamic content, WooCommerce sliders, magazine sliders, and many other things. And then below that, you even have theme builder widget. So in this, you are able to add your posts, post media, post content, and post categories. Now you can also go into their theme builder on Royal add-ons and this does actually work. So you can click on archive over here and then click on create template and this is going to be our blogs and then I'll click on create template over here and I'm not going to add any conditions so I'll click on edit template once I click on edit template over here on Elementor I can go on ahead and see the royal add-on theme builder on the left and from here you have a post grid slash slider slash carousel you can drag and drop that over here then from your source, you can choose your source to be from your pages. 
And once you do that, you will have all of your pages and it will display categories on the top. So we have all posts, hair care, makeup, and then uncategorized. And if I click on publish, my page would be published. Obviously, you can further edit this and stylize this a bit. So we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and exit into WordPress. Then we can go back into pages on the left. And this is going to be our sample page. Yeah, this is our sample page. So I am going to click on over here and I'm going to create a new page. I'll click on add new page over here. And this is going to be a simple page, so I don't want to use a really stylized page for this. And I'll click on Edit with Elementor over here. Once I click on Edit with Elementor, I can choose to use the Royal add-ons or I can choose to hyperlink my blog posts. Hyperlinking is okay, but it's not, you know, the best method out there, but it does work. So over here, you can choose the type of layout you want, the grid you want, and much more. Now for me, what I want is to display all of my blog categories and the blog posts within. So I have my post slider slash grid and I'm just going to drag and drop this over here and you guys can see the way it's styled. So I can just click on over here and from the left, I have my sources. Obviously, we're going to choose any dynamic selection. We can also do this with a specific category as well. If I only want makeup to appear, I can create a separate page for makeup only posts and I can, you know, subdivide my categories. So this is my all posts page and then I can create a separate page where I only display makeup and then I only display hair. And after that, we can also alter the layout. So let's say I want this to be a slider slash carousel like so, or if I want this to be a list style. We can also choose the width so I can increase that as well. And you can also increase the distance for that as well. So you have, you know, a bunch of different uh, alterations that you regularly would have with Elementor. You also have elements that you want to display. So let's say that I don't want to display comments. I only want titles, dates. Let's say I don't even want the dates. I only want titles, a excerpt and a read more panel. Then I also have media overlay, which I can add as well as image effect, a light box, and more. Then you can go into the style on the top left and apply styles to your inner content as well as your wrapping content. And from here, I'm gonna add a light color background. I think this looks fine. And then I think I'm gonna go with the same colored background so I can, you know, provide a more cohesive look. And then I can click on publish. And just like that, you can edit your category pages with Elementor. To remove this Elementor 26, simply go into your WordPress dashboard and then click on pages on the left. Once you do that, scroll down and you will have your page name. Click on quick edit and you can just remove that from here and you can add post or blog categories like so. And then just click on update to update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.